Hey what's up guys, welcome back to another episode of the Minecraft Survival Let's Play. So I've actually not uploaded for a few weeks and the reason for that is just because I've been away from home so I've not been able to record but I did take my Xbox with me so I was able to work on a project and it's actually a new project. So I did this on my previous world and then the world got corrupted way before I managed to finish it so I wanted to do it again on this world. So obviously this is just a big witch farm. Well, the witch farm itself is actually tiny, it's just this little thing here, it took like two minutes to set up. But you saw the witch falling down there. Uh, but I've dug this big perimeter around the outside. And to be honest, I didn't really need to do this. I could have just like built up in the sky and then stayed AFK up there. And then I would have got plenty of drops from the farm. But instead I decided to come 30 blocks away from where the witches spawn. So this is like the... Uh, distance you need to stand away from the farm to get the best rates I think and then I've dug out 50 blocks in each direction from the central AFK spot and then you can see I've started digging this down so I didn't really need to do this like I said I could have just stayed AFK up in the sky maybe lit up the ground a little bit and I would have got pretty good rates from this farm but the reason I decided to dig out all this area is mostly because I wanted the copper so I was looking up on YouTube some copper farm designs for bedrock and they're just terrible, they don't really work and it's kind of pointless building them so I thought just digging out a big area like this would be a good idea to get a lot of copper so that's why I decided to build this witch farm like I don't really need it but I did need the copper so I thought I might as well just work on both of them at once and then I can get plenty of the witch drops which is all of this stuff here uh, I don't need most of this stuff but it's nice to get the extra redstone and the glowstone because it's kind of a pain to get these uh, naturally so yeah those, those are like the best things I get from this farm I've already got plenty of all of the other stuff but the bottles are quite useful as well for the honey farm I'm going to take some of them over and then put them in the honey farm in like five minutes so yeah this is what I've been working on for the last few weeks I'm not really too sure how much further I want to dig down so it took a long time just to dig out all of this. I think this is at Y level 43. If you look in the top left hand corner this is 43 here. I think I want to dig it down to at least the deep slate level which is I think zero. I could be wrong there. So I do need to dig out at least another like 43 levels or something like that. I might even go all out and then dig it all the way down to bedrock. But I don't really know about that because... Once I get to the deep slate levels, I'm not going to be able to insta mine anymore, and that's just going to take way too long. So, yeah, I'm going to dig it down at least another 43 levels. And the main reason I stopped is because I bumped into this massive underwater cave thing. It's going to take me a long time just to get like some sponges and then get rid of all of this water. And then there's a little bit more over here as well. So, yeah, I'm not really looking forward to uh, removing all of this water, but I'm going to have to do this before I can dig any further. So that's pretty much the main reason I stopped, but also I was kind of running out of pickaxes as well. So here's my pickaxes I've been using, and I've only got one more left. So yeah, I kind of had to stop this, and then I just thought I'd start recording this episode, now I'm back at home. But I'm just going to work on this off camera over like the next few months or something. And eventually it will be finished, I will have dug it all out, and I'll show it again in a video. But I've also been getting a lot of resources from this as well, of course. So I've got like plenty of cobblestone here. All of these shulker boxes are full of cobblestone. And then I've got like quite a lot of grass and dirt and stuff. And then the uh, granite. So yeah, I'm going to have to start moving some of this back over to the base. And that's going to take a long time. Because the base is like a thousand blocks in that direction. And I think I'm just going to get a few things together. And then I'm going to head back over there. Because I don't really know what I want to do in today's episode. But I think I want to do a little bit of building around the outside of the base. So before I head over to the base, I just thought I'd come over here and show something else that I worked on a little bit in between episodes. So this is the record disc farm that I built quite a while ago. I think it was only like two or three episodes ago, but I built this like at least two months ago now. And this is just to get a few record discs. So it's got a small creeper farm up at the top. The creepers fall down. And then I've got a skeleton hid behind that block. So when I pull this lever, the uh, skeleton will lock onto me. It will shoot me and you'll see, it'll shoot the skeletons, I mean the uh, creepers instead. And then I'll get the record discs. So 
I built this a while ago and then it kind of stopped working because the skeleton despawned somehow. So I went and got another skeleton in there and you can see it works fine again now. So I use this a little bit in between episodes. It does take quite a while to get all these creepers in here. I've got to stay AFK for like 20-30 minutes just to get a few of them in there. But I used it quite a bit actually. I spent most of a day here while I was editing a previous video. And I got all of these things here. So I got plenty of each of the records. And I've took one of each of these back over to the base. So I'm just going to head over to the base and I'll show you what I've done with them. So I'm sure most of you figured it out. The reason I needed the records was to add to the music chest in the uh, checklist room here. So I've added all of these ones up at the top and then these five here. These three items at the end, I think I added these in the last episode. And then I still need the pig step. For some reason I thought I had one on this world, but I must have got that confused with my previous world. I just can't find it anywhere if I did have one, so I'm going to have to go and find a pig step at some point. And once I've found that, I will add the other note blocks and the jukeboxes as well. So I need another 63 of each of those. So yeah, once I've got the pig step, I will go ahead and complete the rest of that chest. And I actually just remembered that I've got a pet dog now. So I've not really messed around with pets at all. I never really do on my Let's Plays. I had a few pet horses just as like a decoration by the farmhouse in the stables. But apart from that, I've not really had any pets on this world. I've, I've just got like the axolotls here for decoration as well. But pets just, I don't know, some people make a massive deal about them in their Let's Plays. I'm not really too bothered. But I just thought I'd mention it. I do have a dog. Probably just going to stay in this bedroom forever. I don't really like see the point of like taking him around with me on adventures or anything like that. So yeah, he's just going to stay in the bedroom. But anyway, I can get on with what I want to do in today's episode now. So I've actually only got a couple of days to record this episode because I've not uploaded the video for two weeks now and I really want to get one up at the weekend. So it's going to be like three weeks between the previous episode by the time it gets uploaded. So I've only got like two days to record it. I didn't really have too many plans coming into the episode either. So I just want to add another small building to the island. And I've already marked out where it's going to go. And this is going to be a barn. So I'm just going to quickly sleep because it's night time. And then I'll talk about my plans here. So yeah, this thing is going to be a barn. As you can see, it's only going to be a small one. Like The island isn't really that big. Or it does look quite big. But if I start building a load of massive buildings around, it's just going to make it look really small very fast. So my plan for this entire island is to have a load of small buildings around. And I want to try and keep everything quite compact and close together. So I don't want to have like massive open areas in between buildings and stuff. So I'm going to try and fill like this place in here with some crop fields and stuff like that once I've got the barn in place. Then maybe I'll add like another small barn over here or something. So like this corner of the island, like this top corner, is kind of like the farming area. And then I'm going to have some houses and stuff and the docks down there. So I've not really planned out the entire island I'm just going to kind of take it one building at a time and then try and fill in like the gaps in between with either smaller buildings or trees and just stuff like that so hopefully eventually the whole island just like comes together and it does look like one big village but it has been a while since I actually added a building to this island uh, the last building was the lighthouse over there and that was probably like four or five months ago now so I think it is time that I add at least one building to the island today. I might get onto a second one, but I'm not really sure how much time I'm going to have once I finish this one. So yeah, this is just going to be a little barn in the corner of the island. I have already planned it out on a creative world, but I've not really planned too much of the details. So I've got like the outer shell of the barn and the general shape and stuff, but I've not focused on any of the littler details. So I think what I'm going to do is just get straight to building this. And then afterwards I can go around and see what I can add around it just to make it look better. So I'm going to try and do this in a time lapse. I'm not sure how it's going to look. But I'm just going to get straight to building this. And then I'll be back to add some little details afterwards.
So hopefully that time lapse looked okay. I still need to go and edit that. I'm just going to record this little clip first. And I've not recorded many third person time lapses before, so I'm still kind of getting used to it. I think the angle was a little bit off, like my camera angle that I was looking down on the build. It was probably a little bit off, but hopefully it still looked okay anyway. But yeah, this is the basic foundations of the barn. Like I've got the shape in here. I just need to go around and add the details. And I'm not really sure exactly how I'm going to do that or like what details I want to add. But I think it's a pretty good size like if I fly away and look at it from a distance I think it kind of fits in well I don't think it's too big and it's not too small either it's kind of like the perfect size for what I was going for for this island I really don't want to have too many like giant buildings around so I think it's like kind of the perfect size I was thinking like once I built it like the inside is very small there's really not much room in here but I'm sure I can make it work I want to have some pigs like fenced off inside here and then I've got an outside as well so the pigs can come outside or I might get cows I'm not really sure but probably pigs in there and then I want to have an upstairs as well I'll probably have a ladder going up there and then I need to do a lot of details on the outside yeah, there's still a lot of work to do but I just wanted to get like the basic shape and the basic foundations of the barn in place and then I can start working on all the details. So I need to go on a creative world and plan all of this out first before I come over and do it on here. But one thing I definitely want to do is just like mix up the walls a little bit. Maybe add some like sideways uh, strip toe clogs and some planks and stuff like that. Just to add a bit of like texture into the walls so it's not just the regular oak or strip toe clogs like this. So I'm going to do that like up top there as well and then around the sides. So I'm just going to add some textures and stuff into this. And then once I've done that, I'm just going to go and plan out the rest of the details on a creative world. And I'm not sure if I'm going to time lapse this or if I'm just going to come over and build it. But I'm just going to try and get as many little details and stuff as I can around in this area. And hopefully that makes the area just look like a million times better. Because at the moment, there's just nothing going on around here. And if I head behind the back, there's just nothing here either. It's like quite close to the water, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do there. But I definitely need to start adding stuff around this place. And then I'll try to add some little details to the actual barn as well. So I'll probably just be back once I've done some. Okay, so I've been pretty busy here. I just got to work. I showed a few clips, you know, just like me placing some blocks and stuff. But I'm just going to quickly talk through all of the stuff that I've done. So, of course, you saw me build the barn. That's in place, and I've just built a load of stuff around it. I've marked off where the farm is going to go, so I've got this cobblestone wall. Uh, this is a similar wall to what I used over there in the little farmhouse. So it's just a mixture of loads of different cobblestone and mossy cobblestone blocks. And I'm going to add some leaves to it afterwards. And I put a pathway going from like here. So this is where the farm starts. And then I've just got a rough pathway. I'm definitely going to go over it and add some more blocks and stuff to it. But I just wanted to put it here just so I could kind of plan out where the buildings and stuff are going to go. So this goes around the back of the barn. It also goes around this side. And then this goes all of the way down to the bridge, which goes over to the farmhouse. And then there was a lot of space here. I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do. So I just thought I'd put a big crop field here. So this is probably going to stay as wheat. And then I think I'm going to change those two over there, maybe to like carrots and potatoes or something like that. But I also decided to fill in this big pond that was over here. I was going to do this a long time ago, but I decided to keep it. I thought I might use it for something. But I've decided to finally just fill it in. It took quite a while to do it actually. There was a lot of dirt I had to place there. But yeah, I've filled this in finally. And now I can go and build something in this area at some point. I don't really know what I want to build here yet. But I'm sure I can think of something. And then I've also, if I just fly around the other side. I wasn't really sure how I wanted to connect the land to the ocean. I've decided I'm just going to build some rocks like this all the way around the island. So this is mostly just regular stone. 
but I've also got a little bit of andesite and then some tuff in here. And then, um, where is it? There's also bits of cobblestone. Not really too much cobblestone, but there is little bits in there as well. So I think I'm going to do this all the way around the outside of the island. Obviously I can't get that done today, that's going to take a long time. It took me a few hours just to get this little bit done here. But yeah, that is the plan for the rest of the island now. So I can get to work on that whenever I've got a little bit of free time. But anyway, I've also gone ahead and I've marked out where all of the other farm things are going to go. So I was thinking about all of the things that you would build on a farm, and then I've tried to like mark out the area which I would put them. So I wasn't really sure what to put here, so I just decided I'm going to build a pond here. Maybe someone's got some better ideas, but I think I'm going to build a pond in this area right here. This is where the cows are going to go. Over here will be a little chicken coop. There's going to be a well here, just with some water in it. A sheep pen right here, and there's actually a sheep in it already. So I just used orange wool for this because I ran out of red wool. And then over here I want to have two storage silos. So I'm going to go up to the sky. So I've been on a creative world already. I've already planned most of these things out. But I'm not sure about the silos just yet. So I think what I'm going to do is just get straight to work on this. I'm going to try and build all of these things here. And then once I've done, I'm going to come back and add more little details around to the pens and to the paths and stuff like this. I still need to do the inside of the barn. So I'm going to get the main things in first and then I'm going to go around and add the smaller details afterwards. So hopefully that time lapse looked okay, I'm still kind of getting used to recording these third person time lapses. And I actually messed it up a little bit. So I built the first few projects, and then the last thing I was going to show in a time lapse was this pond here. But I realised like halfway through building it, I just completely forgot to hit record. So yeah, I did do this pond like off camera. There's not really too much going on, it's just a little pond, a few... Uh, green things in there like the kelp and grass pickles and stuff. Yeah, I've got a pond here and then I made a little bit more progress on a few small details after I finished a time lapse as well. So I basically just went around into all of the animal pens, added some like variation into the floor just to make it look like there's some mud and stuff in here. I'll probably go around and add a couple more blocks like the actual mud block and stuff like that. And then I also added a feeding trough and a water thing into each of the animal pens as well. So this is where the cows are going to go. The chicken coop is here. I did the same thing with the blocks in the floor. And then the thing with the water and stuff as well. Uh, I also tried to hide some light in under these moss carpets. So this is just so no mops are spawning around here. And I did the same thing here with the sheep pens. So I've got the feeding trough and stuff. And then the variation in the floor. I'm not too sure about these silos. So I think you can tell what they are supposed to be. I'm just not sure how good they look. I think from a distance they look okay. Like if I fly over here towards the lighthouse. I think they look okay from like a distance. But as you get closer, I'm not entirely sure. I tried going for a gradient. Like the darker grey at the bottom. And then moving up to the lighter grey. I don't think I did a good job at that, so maybe I'll just tear it down and then do it again and see if I can do a better job with the gradient. Maybe it'll look a little bit better then. But yeah, those are meant to be silos. So if you've got any ideas on how I can improve them, just let me know down in the comments. But I also added a little well here. Uh, I need to add some water down at the bottom. I'm not sure how deep it should go. And then maybe I'll add like a secret room or something down there as well. Um... If I go into the barn, I did a little bit in here, so again the feeding trough and stuff. I've got a few of these around just as little details. I'll probably add a few more of these as well. And then I made a ladder going upstairs to a second floor. 
This will probably be for the storage for like the wheat and the carrots and stuff to breed all of the animals. And then if I go around here, I just added a few more little details. So just a little cart with some more hay inside. And then I've got a bench that looks out over the ocean. And you can actually see the villager trading hall in the ocean monument down there. So yeah, that's pretty much everything I've done so far. But I do want to go around and fill in some of the little spaces that are still free like this. There's quite a big space down here. Maybe I'll put a tree there or something. But yeah, there's little spaces around that I could definitely add some more little details to. Uh, I added a rock over here as well. I'm not too happy with the shape. I'll probably redo this. But maybe I'll add a few more little rocks like this around the place as well. There's quite a big space I need to fill in here. I'm not too sure what to do there. So yeah, I'm just going to spend a little bit more time filling in some of the empty spaces with some more little details. And then I'm also going to get the animals into the animal pens. I just wanted to do a quick progress update and show you what I've got going on. So yeah, I'll be back once I've got some more little details to show. And that will probably be the end of the video once I've done that. Okay, so I've made a little bit more progress, but it's still not quite finished. But I'm kind of just running out of time to record for today. By the time this video gets uploaded, it's going to have been about a month since I last uploaded. So I really just want to get it finished, edited and then uploaded by tomorrow. So I'm quickly just going to walk through all of the new changes that I've made. Or the new things that I've added. So I've got a pond here and I just added some fish. I think they're all over on this side. So it's like six different tropical fish there. I've added some grass and ferns along the side of the pathways and I thought it made sense to make it more overgrown, like out of the way. So by the pathways I've got the short grass and the short ferns and like out of the way where you wouldn't really go and stand, I've made it a bit more overgrown. I just thought it made sense to do it that way. It's like over here, it's like behind the chicken coop, it's all overgrown and it's the same behind the silos as well. It just kind of made sense to me that that's how it would be. You can see that I've got the animals in place now. So I've got cows, chickens, pigs, and then a few sheep down here as well. I do actually need to kill some of the chickens because for some reason they're all just kind of jumping into the cauldron. There's like loads of chickens in there. So I'm going to have to kill them at some point. Let's move him out of the way. And then once I've killed all the chickens in the cauldron, I'm going to have to find a different way to do the water and the feeding troughs. So over here I've just got a little pumpkin and melon patch and then I've got a little wheelbarrow next to it. Um, if I go down here I made a scarecrow. I actually saw this design on Reddit and I just thought I had to do one in the middle of my uh, crop field. So yeah that's a carved pumpkin. If I fly around to the other side you'll be able to see the face. So it's just like a little scarecrow design. I like how it looked, so I decided to build one. You can also see that I've added a few extra blocks just around the outside of the pathways. Just to mix it up a little bit, I've got some like coarse dirt and podsol. A little bit of moss as well. I did want to add some rooted dirt, but I couldn't figure out how to farm the roots. Uh, I know it'd only take like a few seconds to Google this, but I kind of ran out of time, so. Uh, I thought you could use bone meal on the roots, and then like, get more roots and then turn the dirt into rooted dirt but I couldn't quite figure out how to do that so I'm gonna have to google it and then I'll do that in the next episode but I just wanted to add little bits of rooted dirt around the place as well uh, I think that's pretty much all of the changes that I made though Again, I've have added a few little uh, dead bushes around uh, there's still little bits of work I want to do but I'd say it's like a 95% finished project I really wanted to add a tree somewhere but I couldn't quite find anywhere to build one. Maybe at the end here. This could be a good place for a tree. Or maybe like here somewhere. But yeah. I just couldn't figure out where to build one. So I just didn't bother. And the other thing I wanted to do was the interior of the barn. So I think down below looks okay. I just wanted to add something upstairs. Maybe like a little bit of a storage room or something. For the carrots and wheat and all that to breed the animals. So those are pretty much the only things I want to do. And then this project will be finished. So a storage room up here. And then build a tree or two around the place. But I'm not going to have time to do that in today's episode. So I think I'm just going to do that in between episodes. And I'll give you an update at the start of the next episode. But anyway the one other thing that I wanted to show before ending this video. Is I made another update of the map. So I made this a few days ago now before I really started on the farm. Just after I did the um, 
time lapse of the barn earlier in today's episode, I came over here and I made an updated map. So you can see the progress from the last time I did one of these, which was quite a few months ago. This is when I still had the iron farm at the top of the island, and then my starter base over there. But since then, I've made quite a lot of progress. I changed that entire island into a farmhouse, and then I made the lighthouse as well. I also dug this hole all the way down to bedrock. I think in this video, or this map here, uh, it wasn't quite all the way down to bedrock, it was probably like halfway. So I've made quite a lot of progress, even though if you look at the maps side by side, it doesn't really look like much has been done. Yeah, this is quite a lot of hours work in between that one and then this one. But yeah, I just wanted to show the updated map. This is the fourth one now. I'm probably going to do another one pretty soon because I've made quite a lot of progress doing the farm up there. And if anyone's not seen these before, I basically just update the map every few like months or every time I've made a decent amount of progress. And then eventually I want to make a museum or something in one of the rooms in the base. And I want to have all these maps in a row. So you can just like look from the first map all the way to the end one. I don't know how many there's going to be. And then you can just see like the progression of the base over time. So the first one I've got, it's not here, it's in like a shulker box in the base up there. But it's just like the natural island when I first loaded into the world and I didn't have any like a base or anything built here. There were still all of the trees and stuff. So yeah, I just thought it'd be a cool idea to do and I need to keep up to date with it. So yeah, I finally got round to making an updated map. But anyway, like I said, I'm quickly running out of time to record for today. I really want to get this video uploaded tomorrow because I've not uploaded for a while. And I'm not sure how this video is going to turn out. I don't usually do many building projects like this because I'm never sure like how to do them and what to show on camera. Hopefully the few time lapses look okay. So yeah, hopefully it's still a good video even though it's quite different for what I would usually do. So I hope everyone enjoyed and I'll see you all next time.